What's up guys? This is Terry again from Malaysia. Happy, happy new year to everyone. 2021 is here. So it means to say a lot of vlogs are coming your way. So uh, today we're going to talk about the plants that can be propagated in waters and thrives in waters. So I'm not going to mention all of the plants because honestly speaking, I don't know all of the plants. But just to give you guys a heads up, I'm going to um, show some of the plants that I've been propagating for a while in waters. So if you're into this kind of content, please do watch this video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So some people may ask, how does the plants grow or thrive in waters? How come they can do that or whatnot? So 80 to 95 percent of plants is made up of water and which it uses to produce or replace water that lost through evaporation to assist photosynthesis. So um, moreover, the amount of water a plant gets affects its growth especially for the insects or um, some kind of diseases or infections um, and it's overall bigger so that's about it that's one fact about the plants so um, moving on we have some of the examples of plants that I want to show you guys that thrives in waters so number one on the list will be Graphigophora tetrasperma yes so this one thrives in waters and the roots kind of grow slowly than um, pothos and adansoniae that's what i observed but yes um and yeah this has been here for quite a while now i think this one is here for five five days something like that and i haven't seen any growth on the roots except underneath the nodes I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, okay, let me pull it out from the water. Okay, so there you go. I hope you guys can see it. But this one is the old root from the node, and so far I haven't seen any new plants. I mean, any new roots that is growing through this old ones so let's wait for it maybe i'm so sorry about the noise guys a bit of destruction but then again um uh this one i think should be good for after two weeks two to three weeks and we can repot them so another one is um monstera adansoniae so i've been propagating this for um three days as well and this one the roots grow faster even faster than the first one so there you go i hope you guys can see it and then the third one will be the syndapsis silver end So you can see the roots right there. It's puffing out below the nose and it's beautiful and healthy. So I'm really excited to repot this, guys. And the next one will be my um, Marantha, uh, green Marantha. So here, it's been here for um, a week now and so far it's doing good and I can see some new growth in between and I don't know if I'm going to put them onto the soil or just leave it like this because it looks happier here and these are the roots guys So um, 
don't mind the yellowing of the leaves because this one is normal for Marantas. I mean for bare plants. So yeah. So the next one will be this um, Dracaena or the famous um, Chinese bamboo. Yeah, they call it the lucky bamboo or Chinese bamboo, Japanese bamboo, whatever you want to call it. This one is a Dracaena and some they call this a dragon, um, dragon um, lucky bamboo or whatnot. But yes, this is famous every Chinese New Year season just because they said once you have this, you will have the best of luck all throughout the year. So I hope I will get um, blessings. However, I always use this teal for filtered water on this just because they hate chlorinated water. So be mindful of that uh, in case you guys are going to purchase this lucky bamboo. So just be careful on what water you guys are going to put in or use. So the next one will be, this is spider plants. It really does good in waters. You put them in the soil, they will survive. They're not fuzzy. And um, I got this from the falling off branch of the mother plant. So I have two uh, types of spider plants here, such as the green ones. So this is the typical type that you can see in the market, in the nurseries. And I also have the white variegation um, it's so beautiful and it looks delicate, but yeah. So, thrives in the water as well. So, I don't know. They look so good and look at the roots, guys. This one can stay in the water, and but I want to repot them maybe after a week. Because this has been here for um, two weeks now. So, I think, I just think that the roots are quite ready for being repotted so yeah so another plant will be the famous monstera swiss cheese so we have two types of monstera which is the uh, stick one and the fine one so this one is a cuttings from the mother plant that i have and this has been here for a month and I want to show you guys the roots and it's really really like thriving like mm -hmm. it's crazy guys the root system is crazy so this one is really really ready to get into the soil but I'm I just don't know but I'm compromising in cutting it another one so maybe I can cut a new one from here I don't know I don't know but yeah what do you guys think comment down below and I have another cuttings but this one I just cut last night and it doesn't have roots yet but eventually it will have um, roots I wish because um, the previous leaf that I removed from this had rotten so as you can see it has the markings right here and it's rotten so I removed it and then I put um, hydro peroxide solution so I hope this one will survive so another one inside my bucket is the Burmox philodendron Burmox I'm so sorry guys but it's really tangled up with the monstera so I need to pull it out carefully oh there you go so this has been here for a month as well so I cut them together with um, the monstera Swiss cheese and the roots are crazy and again it's ready to be repotted so yeah it's beautiful but sometimes I just want to I just feel like maintaining it in a bucket or a glass a clear glass and then see how the roots grow and thrive isn't it beautiful when you watch the roots growing right so yeah 
So we also have this marble queen puddles and it's been here for more than a week now. And the roots are um, not so crazy but yeah we all know that pothos thrives in water really really well. You put them in the soil, they will thrive. If you put it in the waters, they will thrive. So they're really hardy, that's why I love pothos. And they're really really ideal for beginners. So guys, uh, if you are new to plant world, I suggest you get pothos, whatever pothos it is. So it will thrive. And I also did um, some propagation with the string of hearts right here. And I still have some behind me. So yeah. And I can't wait to show you guys how I repot my plants. So that's it for today guys. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys on my next vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.